hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to the spider-man 2 fix and update video so spider-man 2 pc just released two days ago and this game has several issues here and there uh, so some of them are the fsr is outdated 3.1 right now the latest one is 3.1.3 so we will be installing that along with that you can use the dlss 4 preset k which is a new update of dlss4 if you have rtx gpu you can use this one this also provide much better quality even than the preset j this is the preset k along with that if you want to use the dlss fg mod in game for all kind of gpu gtx amd rtx you can use the dlss uh, enabler also so yeah this is going to be interesting video so let's start this one without any delay now now first things first if you want to use the fsr 3.1.3 along with dlss frame generation you will need to install the dlss enabler first then we paste the 3.1.3 dls because if you run the game at the first hand then if you go to the setting you will see your games upscaler is only 3.1 so in order to update that uh, what you need to do extract this 3.1.3 dll to the desktop then we copy the bean folder then we go to the installation directory of the game for me which is here we paste this and replace the two dlls then we run the launcher again and uh, now if you select the upscaler now you will see it has turned to fsr 3.1.3 now this is the 3.1.3 installation done if you want to use the uh, dlss fg now i will show that uh, so we gotta install extract the dlss enabler trunk version then we're gonna run this select accept next next now go to the installation directory again and select the path of the game where the experiment 2.x is located we're gonna select this whole path copy delete it and paste here click next now in here we will select the 0.6 because we want to use the in-game frame generation because optis 0.7 frame generation is currently broken on spider-man 2 so if you have intel and md don't forget to take this one after that we select uh, install dash files then we click next now install now this dlss enabler only have 3.1 upscaler so your upscaler will revert back to the 3.1 after installing this one so don't forget to paste this 3.1.3 just like the earlier step now uh, this dlss frame generation has one issue which i will show how to fix that once i boot back into the game uh, and lastly uh, you can use the dlss4 preset for rtx gpus so all you got to do is extract this zip to the desktop then drag it to the games folder and after that run the dlss tweaker i have not included the zip here uh, i will update uh, i will link that in the description so after that uh, you gotta scroll down here now in here select the gl uh, global hood force preset to g the g preset will forcefully activate the k preset when you are using the uh, 310.2.1 dll uh, from my video then click on save now to verify if you want to verify and if you want that uh, dlss hood in game you can select this global hood preset to enable all dll but if you don't want hood and confirmation you will need to disable this all right now every modding step has been done now i will boot back into the game and i will show you how you can fix the dlss fg issue the inconsistent input latency so yeah let's dive into the game now get a spider-man 2 pc at 199 and discord nitro starting from 399 monthly all right uh, i am back inside the game now if you go to setting and uh, run the games frame generation and switch to the dlss frame generation look at this uh, what do you say input latency graph here and hit apply and you will see that uh, the input latency graph has become very unstable like the graph is all over the place so in order to fix that uh, you need to have msi afterburner and reverting installed so go to the reverting 
and click on the frame rate limit and set it near somewhere your monitor like i am right now using 144 hertz so i will set it around 130 maybe hit apply and make sure you have a hotkey set up uh, at the like frame limiter so for me if i go to the setting and then if i go here on a screen display and you can see my uh, what do you say frame rate limiter is set on page up so you need to just click on and just add something from your keyboard so if i go back to the game now now you can see i have activated the frame limiter and you can see the frame rate graph has come back to normal when i disable it like pressing on the keyboard you can see it gets back again to the uh, what do you say messed up graph now when i activate it again the graph gets back to the normal so there's that now we have also updated the game subscaler to fsr 3.1.3 you can so you can use the fsr 3.1.3 frame generation along with uh, fsr 3.1.3 upscaler also uh, or you can use the dlss uh, k preset if you have uh, rtx gpu i will make a comparison video between the dlss k preset and uh, maybe some older version the preset j or maybe uh, 3.8 or something but yeah this will be it for uh, this video now if this helps you uh, consider subscribing to the channel uh, if you are facing any kind of issue comment down below and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers now